hey fam welcome back to my channel so in this video today we are going to be looking at six steps that you need to take to create a productive routine and at the end of this video you are going to be able to create a productive routine that you can follow and see that you have productive days every single time that you are ready for it let's get into this video i hope that you enjoy it hey fam how are you doing today welcome back to my channel my name is toby achudume so here on this channel we talk about topics tips and tricks that will help us grow fearlessly to the best versions of ourselves if you're interested in topics like that please click the subscribe button and share with your friends and family and then you do not miss any of the videos that goes up here on this channel today we are going to be looking at six ways to have a productive routine so at the end of this video you're going to know how to create a productive routine and work with it to make sure that you have productive days towards the execution of your goals so what is a productive routine that is something that you are working with and you do every time as often as you can towards seeing the results that you want to see so having a productive routine means that you're intentional about having productive days and you're intentional about seeing the results of the goals that you have set for yourself and you're actually taking steps towards the execution of these goals so in this video we're going to look at these six steps that are going to help you to set a productive routine and just on that the first thing i'm going to say is that you are working towards something aka your goal so if you're going to have a productive routine or you want to create a productive routine it has to be because you already have a goal that you are working towards if you do not have a goal you wouldn't even know if you're having productive days or if you have a productive routine or if your routine is working so the first thing that you need to do in creating a productive routine is to be clear on the goals that you want to execute so what are those goals that you have set for yourself that you want to work with throughout the year to make sure that you're actually doing the things towards that goal and your productivity is not defined by something else but by what you're working towards so to know more about setting goals and how to set effective goals i'm going to leave a video linked here where i talk about all of that search for it on my youtube channel and it is a full masterclass on how to do this if you want to know more and dive deeper into the whole topic of goal setting and effective planning i have a course up now on udemy that i talk about all the things that you need to know about setting goals the steps you need to take towards setting effective goals and making sure that your plan is right towards the goals that you have set for yourself if you want to know more about that course check the description bar i'm going to leave a link there and you get a discount if you use the link in the description bar next up you need to make a list of all the things that you know you need to do to make sure that you had a great day so what are the things that you need to do for yourself to make sure that you are ready to smash your goals and you're ready to have a great day make a list of all these things and in making that list remember that this list is for you nobody else has to see the list so that means that you should not be worried about putting things that you feel like are only personal to you on that list because again the aim of making this list is to make sure that you see all the things that you need to do to make sure that you have a great day at the end of each day another word for this could be your daily routine so it could be your morning routine your night routine or your evening routine or just things that you have to do in this list you could have breakfast you could have picking out your outfits the night before you could have journaling you could have spending 30 minutes by yourself just meditating you could have studying the bible and all of that so this particular list has all the things that you need to do to be a functional person at the start and at the end of the day so it includes your morning routine it includes your evening routine and all the tiny bits and pieces that makes you you also in this list could be your exercise routine your skincare routine your water routine anything that you feel like you should include in this routine to just make sure that you are ready and up for a great day if you are lost on how to go about this what you can do is for the next seven days notice how you are every single day the things that you do that made you happy the things that you did that you were not very excited about and see the effect of all of these things in doing that you're able to tell what makes you kick and what makes you crumble so with you sitting down and noticing all of these things aside from the fact that you're getting to know yourself you're also setting yourself up for a productive day so it could be like if you don't have your cup of tea in the morning 
you feel like your day is not great or if you do not sing a worship song in the morning you feel like you're going to have a bad day those are the things that you should start noticing and tracking to making sure that you know exactly what to put in your morning routine or what to put in your evening routine i know for myself that if i don't pick out my outfits the night before and i have an event or i'm going out the next morning it is very sure that i am going to be late to wherever it is i'm going to because i have not done that i also know that if i do not spend time with god in the morning my day feels like it is empty so these are things that you only see if you notice yourself and if you are actively trying to build a routine that works number three schedule the time for a productive day schedule the time for all of the things that you have to do each day so that means that if you're working with a morning routine you're going to say my morning routine is going to last for two hours i'm going to do my morning routine from five to seven i'm going to do my morning routine from four to six you have scheduled the time for that and so you know that between this time and this time this is what i am doing also in scheduling time for your routines or for your task you're also saying between 9 and 6 p.m i am working i am going to be doing work career work professional work working on your business whatever it is that you have to do so you're scheduling the time that you're going to use to do all of these tasks you're not just going to leave it down there and say i have to do this by the end of the day and you're not actively putting the time that you need to do this what happens with that is that there are chances that you're going to forget or there are chances that you are not going to be able to do it at your optimum time so that means you're going to be doing it when you're tired or when you're exhausted so in making sure that you have a productive routine it also includes you scheduling the time for each task that you have to do and very closely with that i'm going to just put them together is you prioritizing this task as well so if you have to clean your room on saturday and cook your meal you should be able to say which is more important at the particular time so that you are not cooking your food when you are tired or you're not cleaning your room if that is what is important to you when you are tired so prioritize the task in order of preference or in order of urgency which one should you do immediately which one do you have time to do later in the day or later in the week you should be able to say this is what i'm doing now this is what i'm doing now i don't have to do this today i can do this tomorrow all towards having a productive routine because what we're trying to do with you building a productive routine is to avoid exhaustion overwhelm depression and you just being an unproductive person if you schedule your task you are able to do it you have more chances of executing that particular task i would say maybe 80 percent more chances to do it than if it is not scheduled or if it is not written down in your planner or planned for number four make preparations for a productive day one thing that i have noticed that we do and i used to do this also is that we wake up and say something like i woke up on the wrong side of the bed or i'm not feeling myself today if you do that you are setting yourself up for an unproductive day or a day where you literally drag your feet throughout the day so if you want to have a productive day wake up with the mindset of you having a productive day so that means you are going to make sure that you complete one task that day you're waking up knowing that you want to make this day productive and so anything that has to do with unproductivity you are not associating yourself with that so you're not procrastinating you're not delaying you are not being lazy you are not pushing tasks around you're making sure that all of the things that you have made up your mind to do to have a productive day you do it if you spend three hours in bed when you just got up scrolling on instagram on twitter or whatever social media platform that you do what you're doing is you're already making yourself lazy and before you know it it's already 12 noon and you have not done anything on a weekday or on the weekend so it is just you making sure and being prepared to have a productive day like i said earlier if i want to have a productive day i make sure that what i am wearing the next morning i already have it picked out the night before that is one way to make sure that I am not going to spend minutes looking for what to wear when i could have done that before i went to bed so prepare to have a great productive day by doing the things that you already set out as your routine which was on our second point to make sure that you are actually going to have a productive day just make sure that you have the little things that you think may not affect your day but actually could affect your day and if you have that sorted then you are preparing to have a productive day number five in getting to create a great productive routine 
track the time you spend on your task you need to track it the reason why i can confidently say i spend this amount of hours editing a video is because i have tracked it and saying that this time is consistent with me editing my videos so if you're going to have a productive routine make sure you're able to track the time you spend on task we're doing this for two reasons the first one is that you want to see how long you actually spend on your task to make sure that you are actually going to be using that time anytime you have that task to do so say for example you have to edit an article you have a 20,000 word article that you have to edit if you do this three times four times and you watch how much time you spent on it you can confidently say i use four hours to edit a 20,000 word article and so when you have another task like that you can say that you're blocking four hours on your schedule to edit it so with your tracking you're saying that the time that you allot to a task is what you need for that task the second reason is that if you allot four hours to editing a an article of 20,000 words and you have another task after that you can say that you're committing yourself to spending four hours editing it so that means that you're going to make sure that any unnecessary activity that just comes up while you are in the middle of editing you are not going to follow that distraction because you know that you have only two hours left to finish this task and then move on to the next one so with you tracking how much time you spend on tasks you are achieving two things you are monitoring how long you spend on each task and two you're making sure that you spend that time exactly on that task to see the results that you want to see and then if you do this you are able to see if you need to fix the time that you allot to the task or if you need to reduce the time if you need to add something and just make the necessary adjustments on that task and the last point number six is that you need to be disciplined so some of these things if not all i'm sure some of you have tried towards building and creating a productive routine but if you are not disciplined with working with and creating a productive routine then it's all nonsense if you want to create a productive routine you have to be disciplined with all of the things that you have set for yourself so that means that if you want to wake up by 7 a.m every day because you want to be at work by nine o'clock then you're doing that and you are not snoozing on your alarm so being disciplined goes a long way in you being a better version of yourself literally it also goes a long way in you being a productive person because you're disciplined with seeing the results that you want to see you're disciplined with following with your routines you're disciplined with doing what you need to do when you need to do them so if you're disciplined you're able to follow through with all of the other five points that we have shared to make sure that you have a productive routine and when you actually have that productive routine then you're able to stick to it another thing that helps you to be disciplined is when you set up an accountability structure if you set up an accountability structure for yourself and you're able to monitor how good or how well you have done with all the things that you have planned to do then you're able to be committed to the work I've created a free accountability track sheet for you and I've linked it in the description bar for you to check. So if you're looking to have an accountability structure, then you can definitely steal mine in the description bar. It is free and so you can use it and share with your friends and family as well. So that is it for me in this video. I hope that this was helpful to just recap briefly. We talked about six ways to build and create a productive routine that you can work with and i said that the first step in having a productive routine is to make sure that you have goals that you are working with number two is that you have created a list of all the things that you need to do to make sure that you know what you need to do every single time towards a productive day number three is that you're scheduling the task that you need to do number four you're preparing every single time to have a productive day by doing the things that you need to do before you need to do them number five is that you are able to track the time that you spend on the task that you need to do and then number six is that you need to be disciplined i hope that this was very helpful to you and i hope that at the end of this video you're able to create a perfect wonderful productive routine that you can follow and invite other people to create productive routines 
as well if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with your friends and family subscribe if you haven't so that other people can learn this and work towards being the best versions of themselves using today's video by creating a productive routine thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it i think that you're going to enjoy this one as well where we talk about five planning mistakes that you should avoid i'm going to leave it in the description bar for you to watch and i'm also going to tag it at the end of this video thank you so much and i will see you in the next one till next time bye